Hi, I'm Grant Nelson, and this is Real Reflections. There have been so many stories lately about events that will create cultural change. This might actually be a story that describes true change to a portion of our culture. Maybe not. I mean, I'm not clairvoyant. Roundup Ready crops made farmers much more productive. You could plant a crop and spray the weeds without killing off the crop. It made the fields clean from weeds and saved a lot of time. Somewhere along the way, occasional weeds became resistant to the Roundup herbicide, which was a concern. I noticed this a few years ago and wrote a column that farmers may have had to begin cultivating row crops instead of spraying them. Dicamba came along a few years ago, and now my row crop cultivation prediction was put aside. Recently, the Environmental Protection Agency and the 9th Federal District Court have been tugging back and forth on the question of whether dicamba is something farmers can use. So, I can trot out my row crop idea once again. I honestly hope they get dicamba figured out and we can forget about the row crop cultivators for now. However, mechanically killing weeds with a cultivator is one alternative to herbicides. I could wonder what a row crop world would look like. However, I'm old enough to have seen one. The row crop world requires more patience, especially the first time you cultivate the crop. The crop's so small that you've got to be careful as to not accidentally dig up a plant or push dirt on top of it as you dig up weeds. Row crop cultivators have shields for early cultivation. However, you can pull the shields up or remove them as the season goes on. You can also drive faster as the crop grows larger in size. Now, in other parts of the world, row crop, row crop cultivation is already a part of farm life. These implements make it possible to perform highly detailed row crop cultivation at higher speeds. I'm not sure how this would balance out, as I'm sure they're fairly inexpensive used row crop cultivators available in somebody's tree row, and the more modern version is probably pretty expensive. However, farmers will have to balance the money they save on a used cultivator with the cost of someone to drive the tractor and the economy of scale. The change in mindset may be a challenge too. Farmers, driven to work as fast as possible, now focusing for hours at slow speeds, might be like a sprinter's first try at yoga. Try mowing your yard at about a third of your normal speed, and you'll see what I mean. Row crop cultivation's fairly high stakes too. One moment's inattention can wipe out several rows. For this reason, it's a high value job that can't be left for the low man on the totem pole while everyone else goes to the lake. I hope issues with dicamba get resolved before the next planting season. If they don't, row crop cultivators may be one popular display at the next farm show you attend, virtual or not. One thing, cultivating in between rows will save you dollars on all of those yoga lessons.